Hello everyone, I'm TG and I'm here to talk to you about the amazing multiplayer experience that is Evil Dead the game. We got a brand new DLC, Castle Kandar is here, and with it there's all kinds of changes, some listed, some not listed. And I'm going to show you guys the absolute best survival build in the game right now. Henry the Red has virtually become unkillable. So strap in and let's take a look. Now I was using this build pre-patch and it's virtually unchanged post-patch, but there's a few changes that really make this thing stronger than ever. Namely, there's a lot more shemps on the map and there's a lot more amulets on the map. So if you immediately can't see the benefit to that whenever you're playing a tank class, let me break it down a little bit. It used to be that you really had to think when you were gonna tank the demon, whether it be against their basics, elites, or even their bosses. Now. Just tank everything. You don't even really have to think about it. You don't even have to worry too much about your cooldown. Though the cooldown is important, you can save yourself by doing finishers in combat and basically just keep the battle going forever. Obviously, to really get the most benefit out of this, you gotta make sure you're picking up as many amulets as you can, and that shouldn't be a problem anymore. And you wanna prioritize both your health and shield when it comes to your pink F. After you max those two out, the rest is just gravy. I suggest melee, but it's totally up to you. So let's take a quick look at the build, crunch the numbers, and I will show you some examples in game. So overall, you're going to see it's not really about stacking damage, it's all about survivability, and you're going to get more damage than you even know what to do with anyway, because you're already a warrior. So first, you're going to want one point in the last word. This opens up our tech tree, as well as providing a 15% boost to the damage of the last hit in your combo. And the next two, there's a little bit of debate over, but I'll tell you what I do. I throw three points into a reinforced amulet, which will increase the damage reduction whenever I have a shield active by 10%. You don't really need that extra 2%. It's almost like a wasted point in my opinion. Same with improved amulet. This is going to increase the length of your shield bar when you put three points into it by 10%. Again, you could go for that extra two, but honestly, I really don't think it matters. The only player I would say that, that really benefits from that could possibly be a max level Pablo. But when it comes to a warrior, especially Henry, you're never going to be in a situation where you're like, oh damn, I wish I had 2% more amulet. Next are three very important points into Fear No Evil. That's going to reduce the amount of fear that you generate by 20%. As you know, very important for any warrior because warriors have the worst fear management in the game. You are still going to have to keep on top of your fear during the battle, but this is definitely very helpful. Moving on to the next branch, one point in Artful Dodger just to open up the rest of the tree. Unfortunately, Artful Dodger on a warrior is kind of crap. 15% stamina cost reduction for a dodge is really nothing. It's not going to amount to anything, even if you put full points in it and full points into your stamina, you might get one extra dodge sometimes. Next is an absolute no-brainer. Four points into industrial strength. That's going to increase your maximum health by 25%, which is of course a quarter, and that stacks with Henry's innate abilities to have a bigger health bar already. So the next seven points are where you're going to see a little bit of customization. It's all up to your playstyle, what you're running into, what you're having problems with. Three points into Season Survivor Boss, Elite, or Basic is going to give you a 13% damage reduction against that enemy type. Two points will give you 8%, one point will give you 5%. So as you can see, I've put full three points into Basic and Boss, and only one point into Elite. Now that's because I don't run into Elites that often, and even when I do, they're not that big of an issue because Elites in the game, other than Puppeteers, are kind of easy to take down anyway. But like I said, it's all up to you. Play with those points however you want, and don't be afraid to get right up in those possessed units faces. And of course, finally, to finish out the tree, we're going to put three points into Tougher Than Hell, and that's going to reduce the amount of damage that you receive by 10%. So quickly, we're going to crunch a few numbers, not too hard this time, and it doesn't take into account Henry's abilities, but what you're looking at is when you have a shield active, a flat 20% decrease in the damage that you take, and then stack on top of that whatever points you put into Season Survivor, whether it be 13, 8, or 5, however you slice it, that's the extra damage reduction that you're going to get. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you are still with me because now we're getting to the good stuff. Henry's active ability unstoppable lasts 7 seconds and you can trigger it every 60 seconds. What it does is make you completely immune to all health damage, completely immune to all shield damage, and it's a great tool for picking up down survivors and also resurrecting them at the altar, as well as tanking some big damage from a boss or a possessed unit. One thing you absolutely need to keep in mind though, whenever you're using this, you are not immune to getting feared from a demon dash, you are not immune from getting possessed if your fear is too high, and you are not immune from getting grabbed by bosses. What this basically means is you have to be careful with your timing. A lot of the times what I like to do is bait out the demon. So if I need to say res a comrade, I go in and start resing, but I don't pop it until he uses his demon dash because I know that is coming to interrupt me. 
Once that's done, then I pop my cooldown, and then I can resurrect my teammate without a problem. Moving on, Henry also gets shields up, which means he starts the match with an additional shield bar, giving him a grand total of 5 instead of 4 if you upgrade your shields all the way, which you should be doing. And of course, this is a big reason why Henry is the best tank in the game. Next is Rebound, and I want to talk a little bit about it. On the face value, what it does is, anytime you have a shield active, you are reflecting 30% of the damage that you receive back at your opponent. And you might be thinking, well, TG, you ignorant slut, if that's the case, why are you putting points into damage reduction? So not to get into like the nitty gritty and the real numbers of it all, but basically, it's a better deal for you to have that damage reduction. Say you have a flat 20% damage decrease, you're going to get more out of that than you would if you took that extra 20% damage and reflected 30% of that back at the attacker, you know what I mean? It's one of those situations in this game, of which there are many, where on paper it kind of looks good, but when you get into the numbers and you think how small the value is that you're dealing with, it's just not worth it. That being said, next is Henry's ultimate bloodline technique, Battle Hardened, which is going to increase your maximum health and shield bar length by another 10%. So if you look at our build, that's going to be a 35% increase to the health and a 20% grand total increase to shield bar length. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, powerful vaginas of all ages, that is the ultimate Henry build. Try this one out yourself because I have personally used it to solo objectives, solo the dark ones, resurrected my entire team in the face of adversity, and I'm telling you, it works. So keep an eye out for those amulets, keep an eye out for those shems because you are going to need them. And of course, as someone who plays demon quite a lot, I think I can speak for a lot of demon mains whenever I say nowadays you load into a match, you see a Henry, and you just think, oh, for God's sakes, this is going to be a thing. <laughs> so I really do hope you guys try this out. I hope it helps you out just a little bit. Let me know down below what you think, what you'd change, what you are most excited for going forward. And of course, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do.